Yo, what is up guys? In this video, we're going to be creating a pooling system. I find this to be the most efficient way of building an endless runner game because uh, we're, we don't just keep on destroying and creating new platforms all the time. We simply reuse the ones we have. So by making a pooling system, let's say we can just create 10 of them and we're just going to be reusing the same ones instead of like destroying and uh, creating new ones all the time. That's going to make our game lag. So uh, let's jump right in. The first thing we want to do is create an empty game object and call it the object, um, I don't know, object pooler. Just like that. And let's create a script. And we're going to call this script the um, object pooler as well. Object pooler, there you go. Open up the script. All right, so first, uh, we're gonna wanna make a reference to a game object. So let just say the uh, public game object, uh, pooled object. And this will be the platform that's gonna be getting uh, pooled. We're gonna be reusing this uh, platform. So, and then we're gonna need an amount we want to pool. So if we wanna build 10, five, whatever, we put the value in this space. So we're just gonna say public int pooled amount, AMT for short. And in order for us to do this, uh, we're going to have to create a list. So to do that, we're going to want to say list game object. Oh, I'm sorry. And name it uh, pooled objects just like that. Now, um, we're not gonna be using the update method, so you're gonna wanna go ahead and delete that. And let's jump right in the start. So we're gonna need a uh, pooled objects to equal to a new list. And it's going to be the game object list. There you go. Now, just below that, we're going to create a for loop. So we're going to say for int. We're going to say i is equal to zero. Uh, just like that. And if i is smaller than a uh, pooled amount or pooled amount we're gonna add an I just like that all right and inside we're gonna say our game object which is gonna be object let's say OBJ for short gonna be equal to a game object we're gonna instantiate the pooled object just like that all right now below that we're gonna set our um, object to false because we don't want the uh, object to appear in the scene we just want it to we just want to make it in the background so we're gonna say object is set active to false there you go and pool objects add what do we want to add 
we want to add our object, which is going to be the platform, just like that. All right, that looks good. Now we're going to want to create a function here that we're going to call the public game object get pooled object. Just like that. And inside it, we're going to do a for loop as well. And we're going to say int i is equal to zero. And if i is smaller than pooled objects dot count. Add an I. Just like that. And inside, we're going to say if not pooled objects um, dot active in hierarchy. Just like that. We're going to want to return the pooled objects. All right, just like that. Now, in here, uh, we're really just going to want to copy this script so you can write it in if you'd like to, or you can simply just copy this line of code right here, copy and paste it. And since we now know what we want to return, we're going to say, uh, return object, just like that. And all right, it looks good for now. So save the script and go back to Unity. All right, so now on the object pooler, we're gonna need an object. So uh, go to your sprites folder and create an object that you want to pool. So for us, it's obviously gonna be a platform that we're gonna want to be um, pooling. So uh, go to the first platform and copy the scale uh, Y value, copy that, go back to the new platform and paste it on the Y value just so that they're the same height. Now rename it to uh, just plat for short. All right. And remember to put the tag as ground layer is gr to ground as well. Now go back to the object pooler and drag it onto the pooled object slot. So platform, drag it onto here. And how many times do we want to pool this object? I'm going to set mine to five. And so that we can see the list we just created, go right up here and put debug mode. Select it. Now, um, hit play and pause the game. Oh, pause it. And you see it created five clones of the platform we have. And that's exactly what we wanted. 